Good morning, call your bays, and welcome to another great day of school. I am Elizabeth Walden, and my name is Kenzie Keller, and this is the, the Buzz. Buzz. Today is Thursday, September 23rd, and it is Redhead Appreciation Day. Redhead Appreciation Day reminds us of the beauty and uniqueness of red-haired people. They possess the rarest hair shade and are often associated with having a fiery or hot-tempered nature. Whether that is true or not, we can't deny that red hair, redheads are like rare birds of paradise making up just 4% of the world's population. Today's quote is, don't give up, the beginning is always the hardest. The character word for this month is responsibility. Do what you're supposed to do, keep trying, think before you act, follow rules and directions. Also, remember to always be your best be. Today, today's character quote is, you and only you are responsible for for every decision and every choice that you make. Would everyone please pause for a moment of silence and while you are quiet, think about things that are good, things that are right, and ways to make a difference. Please stand and recite the pledge in school motto. Attention, Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our school motto is, focus on tomorrow through learning today. Thank you. You may be seated. Today, Skyly Anderson celebrates her birthday today. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Now it's time for our weather report. Let's go to our meteorologist, Piper, now. Thank you, Piper. Today for lunch, we will have pulled pork, collard greens, black-eyed peas, cornbread, cornbread, rice crispy treat, fruit juice, and milk. Tomorrow for lunch, we will have fish nuggets, vegetarian beans, coleslaw, hush puppies, fruit juice, and milk. Tomorrow for breakfast, we will have an, an apple fritter, sausage link, juice, fruit, and milk. Teachers, don't forget to turn in your breakfast and lunch counts to Miss Dara in the cafeteria as soon as possible. As possible, she must have a list of student students' names. Also, don't forget to send your attendance to the front office each morning by nine o'clock. We will have we will have makeup fall pictures for anyone who missed our original picture day on Thursday, September thirtieth. Miss Spivey sent out an email last Friday about school parent compacts. The deadline to turn in the signed compacts is tomorrow. The, f the first class to have all their forms completed and turn in will receive a donut party. So get those compacts signed and returned as soon as possible to win the donut party for your class. Tonight, Causey Middle School 
is having a community night for a football game at 6. All feeder pattern students, which includes Collier students, get in free and get a chance to run on the field before the game. Also, this month is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Next week, we will be participating in a few activities to help raise awareness for this cause. We have a special message we have a special message telling us more about how we will go gold for childhood cancer awareness. Let's watch it now. Did you know that September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month? Collier's NEHS National Elementary Honor Society needs your help in supporting the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Collier will be going gold Next Wednesday, September 29th, we will be collecting donations for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society on Monday, September 27th, and Tuesday, September 28th. Every student who donates will receive a gold ribbon sticker to wear on Wednesday. The top donating class from each grade level will receive a gold yellow wristband to wear on Wednesday. Also, the top donating class in the school will receive the gold yellow wristbands and get to spray paint Ms. Tillman's hair gold on Wednesday. In addition, all students can show their support by wearing a yellow or gold school-appropriate shirt on Wednesday. Let's go gold and show our love and support for those battling cancer. Now back to you at the Anchor Desk. Thank you, Karis and Kevin. We also have some pictures that Miss Tillman shared with us of times before when she left, let her daughter paint her hair gold. Let's look at those now. On the left, you can see, on the left of the screen, you can see Caitlin, Miss Tillman's daughter, who has battled cancer herself, sp spray painting her mom's hair gold. On the right, you can see a most recent picture of Caitlin. We hope everyone helps our school bring awareness to childhood cancer next week by donating and wearing gold or yellow on Wednesday. Now it's time for us to read some of this, read the sentences sent in for Wow, wow Word, Word Wednesday. Wednesday. This week's Wow Word is glance. Glance can be used as a verb. That means take a brief or hurried look. Glance can also be used as a noun. That means a brief or hurried look. First, Don Juan Haywood, a fifth grader in Miss West class, sent this sent in this sentence. I took a glance at the book before I left home. Great sentence, great work, Don Juan. Next, Kaylin Austin in Miss Bosarge's third grade class wrote this sentence. My teacher took a glance at her phone because someone was calling and she was in a meeting. Wonderful job, Kaylin. Haley Hudson, also a third grader in Miss Bosarge's class, sent in this sentence. My brother took a quick glance at the fish before we let it go back into the fresh water. Excellent sentence, Haley. We also have a sentence by Angel Rather in Miss Bosarge's third grade class. She wrote, I glanced at my brother's presence and then I told him what he was getting. Nice work, Angel. Jaden Shang from Miss Powell's third grade class sent us this sentence. I glanced at the dog before I left. Good job, Jaden. Also, Michaela but Burroughs in Miss McCurvey's third grade, third grade class wrote, I took a glance at my cat before she fell out of the tree. Fantastic sentence, Michaela. Cameron Crow from Miss Bo Sarge's Bowler's class submitted this sentence. He glanced out the window to see a surprise. Way to go, Cameron. Mason Stebbins, also a fourth grader in Miss Bowler's class, wrote, I glanced at the bus. Then back at my mom and said bye outstanding sentence mason callie jackson and miss ivy's fourth grade class wrote a sentence as well it says i took a glance at my baby cousin as he slowly as he was slowly falling over on the floor wonderful work callie finally natalie lopez and miss ivy's class gave us this sentence to read. I saw someone glance at my test, then I told the teacher. Fabulous sentence, Natalie. Thank you to everyone who submitted sentences for this week's Wow Word Glance. We can't wait to share a new Wow Word next week. Thank you for 
tuning in today, and be sure to tune in every day at 805 to hear the latest buzz at Collier Elementary. Have, Have an unbelievable day. day.